Hello, what is up everybody? Today I'm gonna make this yummy thing which I used to really love as a child and still love it but don't eat it much because don't want to get fat. So yeah, let's get started. First thing, I've got four egg whites in this bowl and I'm putting the bowl over a pot that has got some water in it and not letting the bottom of the bowl to touch the water in the pot. That's very important. And this is one cup and quarter of sugar and a quarter cup of water and finally a tablespoon of vanilla. I changed the bowl uh, and I'm using this uh, saucepan instead because I thought that it's not heat proof and it would uh, break or something so yeah and I'm just stirring now with a spatula now I'm just gonna use my hand because it's very important to feel the uh, sugar granules because I want them to be dissolved in this mixture and this step basically is to sterilize the egg white Just keep stirring and keep um, doing this motion with your hand just to, you know, uh, make sure that the sugar granules are dissolved. Also, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt to this mixture and keep stirring and make sure that you scrape from the bottom. So you just make sure that there's no um, sugar particles here and there. They're not dissolved. Once the sugar granules have dissolved fully, uh, it's ready to be beaten. Now grab your hand mixer or stand mixer and start uh, beating. And it would take over 20 minutes if you are using a hand mixer. It would take less than that if you are using a stand mixer. That stiff beak is the required consistency but basically we want it to be really really thick and heavy as you can see now this is just a tea biscuit and this is a piping bag without any tip and I'm just gonna try to make that spiral shape and I'm really, really bad at that. I think that I really did a really bad job at this. Yeah, sorry for that. This is my sister tries to do something here. Don't know what she's trying to do, honestly. But yeah, I thought mine like were really terrible. But hers are just basically <laughs> look, I don't know. They look really funny. I think mine were better, I think. I don't know, I think we are both really, really bad at doing this. And I thought I would show you how it would look like if you are using um, a plastic bag, as you can see. It doesn't look that bad, but it's not perfect. I, yeah, I, I must admit it, I did a really bad job. But yeah, it's just going to go into my mouth anyway at the end. Let them chill in the fridge for an hour at least. Now it's chocolate time. I'm just going to melt them in the microwave. I'm using milk chocolate here because I like milk chocolate. Uh, you can use dark chocolate as well. And guys, don't put it in the microwave and just put it like one minute at once you would ruin the uh, the chocolate just uh, put it 10 seconds check it out and and then put it another 10 seconds until they are melted and this is two teaspoons of uh, vegetable oil now mix until it's combined pretty well Your chocolate should be silky smooth like this and so glowy. Now all I'm going to do is dip the uh, meringue heads in this chocolate. 
so basic, easy. But I, I should have chosen a wider glass. <laughs> Now, if, if your meringue is not perfect, if it's not stiff enough, you could basically uh, just pour the chocolate on top of the uh, meringue heads and they would become chocolate heads at the end, basically. <laughs> That was really messy. I'm sorry about that. But we really like had fun playing with it. That was so much fun. Now I'm just gonna put them in the fridge to chill and then eat them. And there you go. They look absolutely funny. They, I don't know, but yeah, it just like the shape wasn't good at all. They look funny, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna eat them anyway. And I just recommend that you don't eat a lot because you'll become fat and we don't want that to happen, especially during Ramadan. So yeah, just eat responsibly, please. This is what it looks like uh, from inside is so rich in that uh, meringue thing or marshmallow, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And I really, really enjoyed making this and I hope you really enjoyed this video. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment and we shall speak very soon. Bye bye.